Today, I'm going to make a piece of land art using radial symmetry and found living or organic material. Land art, also known as earth art, is made directly from the land and its materials, like rocks or twigs. My favorite land artwork is by Robert Smithson, and it is called Spiral Jetty. It is a 1,500 foot long coil jutting out from the Great Salt Lake, Utah. It is so big, you can see it from Google Maps. Our mentor artist for this project is Andy Goldsworthy, who is a British land artist. He calls his artwork a collaboration with nature. Sometimes Goldsworthy uses radial balance to create designs with leaves, rocks, or sticks, like in these pictures. Symmetrical balance means a pattern that is the same on both sides. Radial balance means elements or patterns that repeat around a center point. To begin this project, you can start to collect materials that you find outside, organic materials like leaves, sticks, rocks, flowers, pine cones, or shells. But if you can't do that, no worries. You can also use things that you can find inside, um, like buttons, beads, uncooked pasta, beans, paper clips, rubber bands, uh, old mail, anything you can find. To begin, I used like a peanut butter jar lid for a center point so I could have something to place a repeating pattern around. And I started, as you see here, by using red leaves and placing them in four different areas around the lid and then four other areas to make sort of eight different points radially around my center point or the lid. And then I continued to build on that. Eventually, I got rid of the lid and replaced it with a flower because it looks nicer. So you can also use um, a one of your found materials as your center point too. My cat, Duncan, thought he was being very, very helpful during this. Another way I like to think about radial symmetry is like a pizza and to pretend that there's eight slices of the pizza and each slice needs to have the exact same toppings in the exact same pattern or formation. Because these materials, organic materials, were once living things, they'll deteriorate. So the best way to keep a hold of this artwork that you make is to take a photograph of it and then compost these materials. I am so excited to see what you come up with, what materials you collect, and how you go about making a radially symmetrical artwork. Please don't hesitate to share with me what you've made and I would, I would love to see them. Uh -huh.